All right, plans for the weekend. Your first alert weather three day outlook shows it's shaping up to be a wonderful and partly sunny day here in the Midlands. Meteorologist Tony Shiveroli joins us from the first alert weather center. And Tony, enjoy those clear skies because it could get wet this weekend. Yeah, that's what we're looking at, Jamal. Everything is going to be working to change pace here. You know, today, a lovely day. You know, some clouds mix in, yes, but overall dryness wins out. We see it into Saturday, so I hope you got some plans, man. Man, it's just going to be me on the couch all day. <laughs> I mean, hey, if you want to do that as well, you know, at least you can enjoy maybe some of the blue skies breaking throughout your window, right? Yeah, I can uh, enjoy my plants as well because they'll be uh, happy out in the in the warm weather. If they could talk, they'd be celebrating. They were saying, yay! <laughs> Let's see what we got right now. <laughs> Get away from that frost. We saw a bit of it yesterday. We're trying to stay away from it this morning as well. As we're going with that live check right now, I-77 looking good. Going northbound and southbound. Taking that check near mile marker 12. As we are looking on to Columbia, Lexington, plenty of temperatures right now. Making that step back. Just not below freezing right now. Still both at 36. Clouds trying to mix in a little bit. So as we get closer to sunrise, I'm hopeful that most of these temperatures are going to be holding, you know, again, above that regard. Yeah, the plant's definitely celebrating for this one. As we see more of these temperatures still fall, though. Sumter right now, mid-30s as well. Orangeburg, upper 30s. As we take a look at our friends in Winsboro, out to Newberry, Saluda, plenty of spots. Still going to be trying to knock their way down, but just above freezing. I could say the same even for areas like Camden, Lugoff, you know, some spots to the north that are just a touch above freezing right now as well. As we go on forward, your first alert weather update here with the tidbits will be clouds, sunshine today, but a warming trend. All right, so let's go down. It's the third tidbit you need to watch out for the rain, the wind into the second half of the weekend. That is going to be our first alert weather day as we work to pick up the pace with not just temperatures, but overall instability in our atmosphere. Right now, we're not seeing too much of it because of what we're just going to get with clouds mixing in and sun. That's why I say, hey, if you had outdoor plans for this Friday, oh, please keep them. It's going to be a great day out there, a great evening as well. We get the 60s, overnight lows tonight fall back only in the 40s, and we continue to see some rounds of cloud cover mix in. Now for Saturday morning here, starting out the day, beautiful yet again. We see these 40s, we rise on up to the 70s, so this is going to be yet again another good day to dress in layers because you probably won't want to have that jacket on as we work to get back to those 70s later into that first half of the weekend. Now we keep a little bit muggier, milder. This is where the cold front happens. Now look, later into Saturday night, getting into early Sunday morning, we're starting to see it get to the upstate of South Carolina, but current projections have it bumping on in to our neck of the woods, more so Sunday afternoon, where after this point, we're able to build up to 70s again. So with that warmth, with the moisture, with the cold front, we easily could see, you know, some really good gusty winds, a few downpours here and there, even some strikes of lightning. That potential will be there for the region as we get forward into our Sunday. So keep eyes on the sky. Please be watching out for that. And also in terms of how this does look to set up for us in the afternoon and evening, Please keep checking back again because in terms of any certainty here, going to cut it off right around 8, 9 o'clock. We could easily see this linger a little bit longer into the night. Please stay tuned and uh, please tune in later into this evening when we'll have a little bit more of that hour by hour sense into Monday morning. This is just how far with this type of thing I want to go with the certainty because, you know, just a few hours make a big change. And I want to make sure you're staying updated as we walk through this weekend and have at it together. OK, so please keep checking back. Going into today, a nice recap. We got the mid 60s. We got the partly sunny skies. You're a holiday cast for this Friday. It can be a nice holly jolly one for you with the sun trying to hold steady as best as it can. More of those clouds rolling overnight, though. But because those clouds will be there, we're going to not be as cold. We see a lot of those mid 40s for lows, so we're getting milder there. We keep building up those temperatures into the weekend. It comes to a peak on Sunday with that cold front. Keep eyes in the sky. Have an umbrella on standby. Be weather aware and then just got to bundle up more next week.